Hey guys, welcome back. Farmer Nick here. Um, today we're going to be exploring uh, how to cook a spaghetti squash because a spaghetti squash is something that um, a lot of people aren't like very familiar with. Um, and so we're going to be cooking a spaghetti squash. And this kicks off our series of nutrition lessons for the summer. We're going to be exploring ways to cook all sorts of different things that maybe people aren't totally familiar with. Um, and so that will probably track our farm shares, you know, what we harvest on any given week is what we will, um, you know, hopefully use in our lesson um, about what we're cooking. Um, and so while we don't have anything to harvest this week, um, we still will be using this spaghetti squash here. And we're going to try to, you know, experiment with the phrase, eat a rainbow. Um, you know, not just this meal, but, you know, many meals going forward. It's really good to have um, a variety of colors on your plate that signals to you that you're getting, you know, a wide variety of nutrients um, into your diet. And so, um, you know, we're going to be trying to incorporate as many colors into our plate as possible. So we have about half a cup to a cup of cherry tomatoes already um, halved. And we have about um, half a cup of a shallot, so about one shallot, and two uh, garlic cloves minced. And along with that, we have a can of chickpeas. Um, we have one spaghetti squash. And um, I have made a big bowl of pesto. Um, we have a, our own lesson on pesto, so feel free to check that out um, on our website. Um, but any pesto will do. Um, and then I have a little uh, glaze here um, of one tablespoon olive oil, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, and one tablespoon, or sorry, one teaspoon of molasses. Um, we've got salt and pepper here. And then I am going to make some shrimp with uh, my uh, spaghetti squash bowl. And so um, that's it obviously an optional ingredient, um, but we will show you how to uh, cook shrimp as well. And so um, I heated this spaghetti squash in the microwave for two minutes um, just to make it loose, uh, easier to um, de-seed afterward. And so um, after you microwave your spaghetti squash, you're going to want to um, <laughs> get a spoon and simply empty the contents, just the seed part. Scrape that out into a bowl. And when you half your spaghetti squash, I would recommend maybe getting an adult to uh, oversee that process or getting just a helping hand um, because it is not easy to split these in half sometimes. After we've gutted our spaghetti squash, we're going to um, just drizzle our uh, little glaze on top of our spaghetti squash. Um, I should have mentioned that I preheated the oven um, before the video started to 350 degrees. Um, so make sure to do that right away. And make sure to get out a baking pan as well. And so I'm just going to stir up my balsamic oil and molasses glaze. And using this little paintbrush here, I'm just going to paint that onto the inside. I'm going to take a pinch of salt to each half and a little bit of pepper as well. After you've prepared your spaghetti squash, we're just going to turn these halves over on our baking sheet. And we're going to bake for 40 to 40, uh, sorry, 40 to 50 minutes or until it's uh, very tender. You'll be able to pull it out, turn it over with some gloves, 
and test it with a fork to see um, if it's ready. So if you do decide to use shrimp uh, in your spaghetti squash bowl, um, you can acquire about uh, a pound of shrimp. Um, I have half a lemon here, um, some red pepper flakes, garlic and sage, and um, I'm going to just start melting about a tablespoon of butter in this uh, saute pan. And then we'll put the shrimp right in um, and season them up. Okay, now we are going to make our tomato topping and we're going to start by heating up some butter in the saute pan once again, um, about a tablespoon, and I'm going to um, put the shallot and the minced garlic into the saucepan to kind of set a nice base flavor. So once we have the tomato topping going, we're going to let that cook for about uh, five to seven minutes more until the tomatoes have begun to soften up a little bit. Okay, so our spaghetti squash has been cooking for about 45 minutes now and it's time to remove it. We're going to put on some oven mitts and take it out and we're going to let it cool for about five minutes. Alright, the spaghetti squash has cooled for five minutes and using oven mitts, I'm just going to turn it over, it's a little tricky, and lovely, still very hot, and we can test to see if it's done by just taking a fork and seeing if as we peel back if it comes in strands like spaghetti. And that is certainly, certainly happening on both halves, which means it is done. So once your spaghetti squash is done, you can take out spaghetti squash, um, just peel it back onto your plate and uh, top it off with your um, uh, tomato topping and pesto and if you uh, did make shrimp, uh, it's a lovely addition. Um, and so, um, as you can see, we have a lot of different colors on this plate and so that's, uh, we met our goal of uh, trying to eat a rainbow. So, anyway, thank you for tuning into this video and I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks guys.